Grief comes in waves, and in the moments when I feel like I'm underwater, I find solace in this thought. My mother loved and was loved in return. Welcome back. We are live. That was an excerpt from Think You'll Be Happy, Moving Through Grief with Grit and Grace and Gratitude by Nicole Avant. Those words, grit, grace, and gratitude inspired this whole show today. We were talking in commercial break. I like to take y'all behind the scenes because there's a show out in between the show. And Nicole, you said, obviously, the, the grief that you're experiencing, the loss of your parents, your mom, mm -hmm. especially in the way it happened, that's, that's something unimaginable. But every day, somebody's waking up right now, there are people in the audience, there are different forms of grief. You said, oh yeah, losing. You could, you, you know, your dog dies, there's yeah. grief. Yes. A parent dies, a child dies, a, a, a child goes the wrong way in life. Yeah. And you said relationships. relationships somebody's waking grief. up with a broken heart a broken, today. People wake up with broken hearts, or your child's in in a hospital fighting, you know, for their life for for some disease. Grief is 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 something that none of us get to escape. Yeah. Oh, it finds you. It finds you. You don't have to look for it. No. Yeah. And 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 the one constant that you know in life that we are all going to face is you know, we're going to face change. Yeah. And we're going to face grief. Yeah. And it just happens. And there's no escape route. There's I mean, they talk no. a lot about the younger generation, which I think is unfair when they say they, you know, they don't understand their hardship. Oh, they will understand oh, it. they will. Because it comes to your doorstep. No one gets to escape. No, it. you get to escape. You wrote um, that T.D. Jakes, after the passing yeah. of your mom, our friend, um, he asked you a simple question. He said, are you going to give this guy five minutes of your mom's life or are we going to focus on the 81 years of your mom's life? That's that right. That was your wake-up call. Oh, that was my... That was... That was the best amen moment. And I literally had just fallen on my knees in my heavy grief. Mm -hmm. It was new, it was fresh. And when he said that, and he said, all right, tell me what you loved about your mom. Yeah. Let's switch the mindset. Switch your mindset. Where are we going? Okay, but be honest with me. When someone yes. says that and you're going through grief, because I probably would have been like, I don't want to hear this. Yeah. Right now. I don't, don't want to hear, hear this. this. And I was like that. Okay. I really was like, mm, really? Are yeah. we really? And he, but he had to get me. He kept talking and he was calm. Yeah. And he kept, that's why he was asking the specific questions. What did you love about your mom? Right. What was her favorite this? What was, what did she love about this? What, so then all of a sudden a smile would come on my face yeah. because I was thinking about what I loved about her, the things that she loved in life, whether it was food or music or her children yeah. or her sisters or what, whatever it was, mm. it, it helped me reframe my mind. Yes, was I a mess that, you know, right after I hung up the phone? Mm. Sure, but what it taught me in that moment was that, to your point, grief is like a roller coaster. Yeah. And some days you think, oh, I'm better today. This is good, yeah. I'm good, I got this. And then the next day, something would remind me of my mother, and especially at Christmas time, yeah. and I'd pull over the car hysterically crying. Mm. You talk about in the book, and I want to read this, you said, gratitude is an essential element of our experience of life because we have no choice but to live the good and the bad, the ups and the downs, given that mm -hmm. there's no escaping the darker parts of life. Our only hope is to live in gratitude for all of it. Otherwise, we run the risk mm -hmm. of living in resentment. Yes. Nobody wants that. I don't care no. who you are. No, no. And I, I had to make, and it's always a choice. It's yeah. always a choice, and it's hard choice. Yeah, it is. It's a hard choice, but and when I'm challenged by it, I always say, okay, I want to keep my kind heart. I want to keep a good heart. I want to be at peace. Mm. I want to love my family. I want to love my friends. I want to live my life, and I'm not going to fill my heart with so much anger and hate and resentment and fury that I don't get to move forward. Yeah in life, I don't get to, all of a sudden, I die inside. What is your advice for people? Um, how do you apply these lessons? Because I think a lot of people are watching right now, we're all going through secret things that sometimes nobody even knows you're going through. Mm -hmm. How do you apply it? For me, when I say forgiveness in the book, mm. forgiveness is for me. Yeah. It's not condoning a bad behavior, it's not it's not saying, oh, that was okay, or they didn't mean it, or they had this childhood. It's not making excuse for bad behavior. Forgiveness is me giving up the pain, giving up the anger, the fury, the frustration, the disappointment. It's a burden. Mm. And I can't, I can't be both. Mm. I can't be grateful and have grit and grace and also have hate mm. and, and have fury. And ha so I have to choose. And it always goes back to choosing. And sometimes I have to choose every 
20 minutes. Right. right. <laughs> it's a minute by minute. Sometimes it's a, it is a minute. Good it's for a minute you. By you know minute. what? Thank you for saying that. Because a lot of people told me, take it one day at a time. Mm. The truth is, for me, one minute at a time. Mm. One minute at a time. Well, <clears throat> your mother asked you the question, think you'll be happy. I am happy that you made time for the Tam fam and oh, you're sharing your thank story. You. Well, thank you. Think thank You'll you. Be Happy is out now and everyone is going home <laughs> with this beautiful memoir to reflect on and find your moment of gratitude. Thank you, Nicole.